Maitland Niles into Skews in a central position, 40 yards from goal. He gives it to Fraser, who gets a bit close. He might fancy a shot. He does! He's hit the post! It goes right across the face of the goal. What a goal that would have been. Emmanuel into the middle for Brew! Oh, what a goal! A stunning strike from Kevin Brew. A scissor kick, six yards out. Button was clawing at thin air. Ipswich Town take the lead at Brentford on the opening day of the season. Kevin Brew with a spectacular strike. Town lead 1-0 at Griffin Park. Kielkowski pulls the ball out to the goal scorer. Brew forward to an onside. Sears, he's got Fraser in the middle. It's two on one. Sears against Bunny pulls it back for Fraser on his debut. Ryan Fraser makes it 2-0 to the Tractor Boys. An excellent counter-attack. Well done, Freddie Sears, but a lovely little finish from the wide player on loan from Bournemouth. Gives it Fitch Town daylight. The Tractor Boys and Girls start to party. It's Brentford nil, it's Switch Town 2. Fraser with his first corner kick of the game, and it comes right-footed. It's headed towards goal, and it's in! There's an equaliser for Ipswich Town and the debutant Josh Yarworth got his forehead on it. It might have come off another player after that. The main thing is that finally Town have forced the ball beyond Chris Day and we have parity. Town are right back in this cup tie. It's 1-1. Running down the right side, it's McGoldrick. He's got goal side of his man. He's inside the area. He plays it square. Tab scores! Finally, Ipswich Town are ahead in this League Cup tie. They're 15 minutes away from round two of the Capital One Cup. They lead Stevenage 2-1. There is relief all around. Chambers goes long from back to front. Looking for Sears inside the area. The flag is stayed down. He needs somebody in the centre. No, he doesn't. He fires in from the most acute of angles. Fabulous work from the former Colchester player. He's up and running for the season. And we're now all square. Just 90 seconds after Sheffield Wednesday took the lead. It's now 1-1. Well done, Freddie Sears. Picked up by Fraser. Good pressure this from Ipswich Town. Can they make it count? He's got away from Shaw. He's inside the box. Left footed into the middle. Missed by Westwood. Headed in by Tommy Smith. Town has been knocking. And the door is wide open. Eight minutes into the second half. Town have the lead for the first time in this match. It's another goal from defence. Smith makes it 2-1. Maitland Niles, 30 yards out to the right side. Pittman down the channel in the area. Little ball in. Oh, super goal! Freddie Sears celebrates his new long-term contract at Ipswich Town with his second goal in as many games. And finally there is a breakthrough. Ipswich lead Burnley 1-0 with 25 minutes to go. Maitland Niles by the tunnel off to our right-hand side with Ipswich Town's eighth corner kick of the game. They lead 1-0 and it spins towards the far post. Headed down by McGoldrick and in! He's back with the goal! David McGoldrick, the substitute, gets on the score sheet and all of his teammates, bar the goalkeeper, rush to celebrate with the number 10. Town lead Burnley 2-0. Long throw by Knudsen, headed up but not away by right. Sears trying to get into the game by the tunnel, he's on the left wing at the moment, has Knudsen next to him. Sears has still got the ball, takes it away from Fraser, happy to take charge and Sears crosses to Pittman! Oh yes! Super goal from Brett Pittman! From nowhere, the first one that Preston have conceded in the league this season. And it's Brett Pittman with the first goal of his Ipswich Town career and his first league start. Deepdale silence, Preston nil, Ipswich Town won. Sears with a little ball to Pittman on the right-hand side is Chambers. Pittman changes direction and there's disguise to Fraser. Oh, that's oh. a fantastic goal! Ryan Fraser with a moment of absolute genius! What a strike from the little player on loan from Bournemouth. It's his second Ipswich Town goal. He'll never score a better one. Town lead 2-1 at Preston. McGoldrick's on a chase, headed away from the back. Now McGoldrick's got the ball left-footed. He shoots against the Doncaster defender. Still alive inside the game. Two are getting each other's way. Oh, but there's an equaliser. It's two goals in two games for Brett Pittman. From absolutely nowhere, he followed up like all good strikers should do and tucked the ball through the legs of Stuckman. 57 and a half minutes played, and it's Doncaster 1, Ipswich Town 1. Toure down the line, wants to get away from Wellens, which he has done. Emmanuel's close and steady, crosses towards McGoldrick with a header down, and in! Town lead 2-1.
Ahead for the first time in this tie, will that be enough? It's David McGoldrick with his second of the season. Townley Doncaster by two goals to one. Can they hang on and get a place in round three of the League Cup? Coke to McGoldrick. McGoldrick coming forward for it. Such town. Fraser's to his left side. Fraser inside the area to make it 3-1. He's still got the ball. Back to McGoldrick, whose shot is touched into the net. And it's a debut goal. James Allaby. The new man for Ipswich Town just signed for the club yesterday on as a substitute has surely made certain that Ipswich Town are through to round three of the Capital One Cup. They lead 3-1 at Doncaster. Fraser looking for his third of the season. He gets it. It's Ryan Fraser who puts the icing on the cake. They lead Doncaster by four goals to one. Fraser overlapping his pitman. The angle isn't good. He still puts it across the face of goal and Sears scores! Pittman hit the post, Sears pounced, he's got his third of the season, justice has been done, it's now 2-1 to Brighton. David McGoldrick, hands on hips, 19 minutes gone in the second half, Town trying to get back level from being 2-0 down against Brighton, forward he comes, right footed, into the corner of the net, and parity is restored. David McGoldrick gets Town right back into this game. Now, can they end this first month of the season on an almighty high? It's now 2-2. Pitton picks up the loose ball. Back in field to Fraser. Edge of the area goes past his man. Beats another one. Fraser, brilliant play. Good save, but then it's tucked in. It stands. The goal has been given. And it's Freddie Sears with Ipswich Town's equaliser. His eighth goal in his last 11 championship matches. My goodness me, what a purple patch for the former Colchester player. And three minutes after Reading took the lead, it's now 1-1. Town's first corner kick of this game. It's 0-0 as Fraser clips it into the area off to our left side. Punched a tenth, not cleared, nodded towards the goal. And it's headed in. It's Tommy Smith with his first of the season. Leeds made a mess of it, Smith pounces, and Town lead 1-0 at Elland Road. Pittman, hands on hips, against Kushak. Forward comes the Ipswich Town, number 11, and he slots the ball low into the corner of the net. A fabulous spot kick, he goes to three for the season, and it's 1-1 at Portman Road. Knudsen gets a chance to deliver left foot at this time. Great ball, headed across the face of goal, and in! Down of the breakthrough! Inside the first minute of the second half, and it's the captain, Luke Chambers, who gets his first goal of the season. Everyone's on their feet inside Portman Road. Ipswich Town 1, Bristol City 0. Ball into the box to Pittman, right of centre. He stands on the ball, shot by Sears, and it's tucked in! It's Ryan Fraser with the equaliser. He runs into the net and carries the ball all the way back to the centre spot because he believes Ipswich Town can still win this game. It's his fourth of the season, as important as any. It's now Town 2, Bristol City 2, and we have four minutes to play. Chambers, 30 yards from goal, to the right-hand side, he gives the ball to Brew. This is promising from Ipswich Town. Brew crosses towards the far post, headed away before Murphy could get anything on it. Parr inside the area, shoots, and into the net! Oh, Johnny Parr with the opener! The substitute from nowhere finds the top corner! The away fans go nuts, and Ipswich Town lead 1-0 at the City Ground. Can they hold on for their first win in seven matches? They've got 16 minutes to do it. Murphy to the right side, Maitland-Niles. Pittman's in the centre if Maitland-Niles can find him. He's still got the ball outside the Bolton box. Now tiptoe and infield. Left footed, he shoots, and it's in! Ensley Maitland-Niles, after 13 minutes, celebrates his first Ipswich Town goal. And what a moment the 18-year-old teenager on loan from Arsenal has picked. This has relieved some of the pressure. Town lead Bolton 1-0. Sears has a chance to get on his bike. He's coming forward. He comes in field against Spearing. It's 2-1-2. Two two. He's got Pittman in the middle making a run. He plays it to Pittman. Edge of the box. A chance for a second goal. Fantastic finish from Brett Pittman. Back in the team tonight. Back with a bang. Back with a goal. And is it Twitch Town's winless run finally coming to an end? They have some breathing space. Brett Pittman makes it 2 0. Chance for Brew to cross into the middle. It comes as a header from Pittman and a goal. He's carried on where he left off on Tuesday night. Brett Pittman's fifth of the season puts Ipswich down 1 0 up inside eight minutes at Rotherham. Green is robbed by Douglas. Douglas coming forward, might have to go it alone. He shoots. Oh, fabulous! Great goal from Jonathan Douglas. His first for Ipswich Town, and what a memorable strike 
He's up and running. Ipswich Town lead 2 0 at Rotherham. Brew with another corner kick for Ipswich Town. Right footed into the middle it comes. Could have been a header for Murphy. It might come back to Daryl Murphy. 3 0 Ipswich. And the drought is over. Daryl Murphy scores his first goal of the season for Ipswich Town. He's mobbed by his teammates. And surely this game is all over. They lead 3 0 against the shell shocked Rotherham, bottom of the championship. Surely it's back to back wins for the boys in blue. Commanding header by Smith. In behind is Murphy for his second goal. It's 4 0 to Ipswich Town. And all of a sudden, Daryl Murphy's eyeing up a hat trick. He's back with a bang. Two goals in this one match. And Ipswich Town are home and hosed. Chambers with a throw into Murphy. A chance for his hat trick. And three goals. And this game is killed off, surely, once and for all. The first Ipswich Town player in more than four and a half years to hit a hat-trick. And it's last season's 27 goal hero. What an afternoon for him. What an afternoon for Ipswich Town. Live on BBC Radio Suffolk Sport. They now lead Rotherham 5-2. Here's the left and Knudsen with a low ball in towards Murphy. No Douglas! 1-0 Ipswich! Jonathan Douglas gets his first home goal for Ipswich Town. His second in successive matches, breaking into the box. 15 minutes gone, Portman Road is on its feet. Town lead Wolves 1-0. Excuse, lovely floater ball over the top towards Pittman. Pittman shoots from the angle into the middle. Murphy can't miss! And he hasn't! It's his first Portman Road goal of the season too. His fourth in two games. He's well and truly back. Town lead Wolves 2-1. Headed away by Charlton, all hands on deck. Ipswich Town still pressing. Mackinock gets it away. Look forward by Maitland Niles. Great pressure this from the Blues. Is there an end product? Smith heads it towards goal! And it's in! Town take the lead and it's Daryl Murphy again! He's gone from famine to feast. He scored in three successive matches and Town lead 1-0 at Charlton. Murphy collects it, then gives it back to Chambers. Chambers tries to hit it forward. See is inside the area. Onside! And it's 2-0 to Ipswich Town. Freddie Sears' first goal for two months gives Ipswich Town daylight at the end of this first half. They lead Charlton Athletic by two goals to nil. Freddie's back on the score sheet. Chambers in a tangle. He's won the ball. Off of Holmes, Dennis. Little ball and field to Chambers. Chambers then to Pittman who lets it run. Douglas into the box to Murphy for a third goal. Oh, that's excellent football from Ipswich Town. And all of a sudden, almost in the blink of an eye, Daryl Murphy is Ipswich Town's leading goal scorer this season. He's scored six goals in three games, and surely this one is dead and buried. Ipswich Town lead Charlton Athletic by three goals to nil at the midway point of the second half. Douglas spreads play with pinpoint accuracy to Chambers. Chambers crosses into towards Pittman! It had to be a goal for Ipswich Town. Brett Pittman carries the ball away from the net. And the players run towards him by the corner flag. In the 10th minute, Ipswich Town lead MK Dons by one goal to nil. Brett Pittman with his sixth of the season. Down in blue, white, blue, defending the end off to our left-hand side. And immediately coming forward, Sears on a run. Sears might be in on goal inside a minute. It's a chance, and it's a fabulous goal. 16 seconds played at Craven Cottage, and Freddie Sears finds the back of the net. What a sparkling start from Ipswich. Switch down by the Dem. Murphy to Sears, the goal scorer in a crossing position. Low ball in, there's a shot, and it's in! It's Brett Pittman! Scores for the second game in a row! Has he got the winner tonight? Town have got 33 minutes to hold on, but they do now lead 2-1 at Fulham. Little ball into the box finds Sears. Sears wide right, cross into the middle towards Douglas, now Murphy! Oh, he sliced it! Douglas turns it in! Jonathan Douglas pulls him to its town right back! to this game with an overhead kick it's his third of the season he hasn't scored one that's more important than that now can town go on and win this one 13 minutes to go the home crowd are on their feet it's town one qpr one sears has the ball on the left wing he crosses towards the far post eric chambers the captain wins it for ipswich town portman road goes crazy they've come back from a goal down to win with a header from Luke Chambers right at the end of
of this Boxing Day game live on BBC Radio Suffolk Sport. Town look almost certain to have won their final home game of 2015. Ipswich Town lead Queen's Park Rangers by two goals to one and that's a massive goal from the captain. Oh, a mistake at the back from Dunk. Murphy might be in on goal for Ipswich Town. What an opportunity! Oh, and it's in! Ipswich Town take the lead. That's a calamitous bit of defending from Brighton and Hove Albion, though. Daryl Murphy could not believe his good fortune. 32 minutes played at the Amex, and the visitors lead by one goal to nil. Digby short to Maitland Niles, then Digby up in the air looking for Varney. Varney turning away from Webster. Ipswich Town coming forward with Menace. Varney inside the area. Ball into Pittman. Good save with that attempt, and surely oh! Tommy Orr oh scores his first Ipswich Town goal. The Australian strikes in the 53rd minute of this FA Cup tie. And finally, Ipswich Town take the lead against League Two side Portsmouth. It's 1 0 to the Championship team. Fraser with a free kick into the mix. It comes, it's excellent! And it's in! It's now 2 2. That might well have gone straight in from Ryan Fraser's free kick. There was a goal from a corner kick last night in the competition. Look, Chambers takes one or two claps of the hands in appreciation from his teammates, but it looks to have been Ryan Fraser's goal, and it's now 2-2 all of a sudden. Town work it to the left, and Fraser, one-on-one -on -one with his defender, Wooten, wants to take him on. He's got the pace and the ability to beat him. Fraser, left-footed, crosses into the centre. It's a good ball, there's a header, and there's an equaliser! It's 1-1, and again it's the captain, Luke Chambers! Two goals in successive league matches here for the skipper and town draw level at Ipswich Town 1, Leeds United 1. Forward from Knudsen to Sears, Fraser it is, down the left, Fraser with the ball into the middle and Pittman heads it in! Chambers to Murphy, Murphy stumbles away from a challenge, then another, then runs towards the area, then shoots brilliantly into the corner of the net. Fabulous stuff from Daryl Murphy, another cracking goal from him. He's ended another mini drought with the equaliser here this afternoon. Seven and a half minutes to go until half time. It's now Ipswich 1, Preston 1. Nodded down by Webster. As far as Maitland Niles, is this an opportunity for Ipswich Town to pull one back? Maitland Niles from outside the area scores a fantastic goal. A stunning strike from the Arsenal youngster. Beat Murphy all ends up. There won't be a seventh successive clean sheet for him at Fratton Park. And all of a sudden, Ipswich Town are right back in this cup tie. Inslee Maitland Niles has made it Portsmouth 2, Ipswich Town 1. Chambers bursting to halfway. Then he plays a good ball forward to Sears. Excellent play by the skipper. Sears edge of the area. Low ball in towards Fraser. He brings it down, turns left foot and shoots and scores! Ipswich Town's best player of the season gets his sixth goal. Where on earth would they be without Ryan Fraser? Fraser over the top to Varney. It's a good pass. Varney's going to have to do it all on his own. Needs support in the middle. He's wide left. Pittman's telling them where he wants it. He plays it into Pittman! He scored! Oh, the dream substitution from Mick McCarthy as his two new strikers link up to great effect. They might just have got the winner. Varney laid it on a plate. Pittman dispatched it, and Town lead 2-1, heading into added on time. Murphy to the left of Pittman, it's an excellent pass, nicely chested down by Pittman, great work for him, he's inside the area, he scores! The super sub has done it again, and he is celebrating, Ipswich Town are back in this game, it's the former Bristol City man that's given them a lifeline, it's City 2, Ipswich Town 1. Murphy's on a chase outside the Huddersfield box, he touches it away from Lynch, he's done brilliantly Murphy, then he plays it into the middle, Pringle brings it down inside the area, chance for Pringle, and it's in! Ipswich down lead 1-0 with their first shot on goal, and it's Ben Pringle with his first for town. It's Huddersfield nil, Ipswich down one, completely against the run of play. Out as far as Foley, Foley wins it, then gets a chance to shoot, instead he goes into the area, Pittman turns away, Foley still got the ball inside the box, he gives it square to Pringle who shoots, and he scores! Two and two for Ben Pringle! Last week's match winner at Huddersfield gets the opening goal against Nottingham Forest one week later. It's his first Portman Road goal and Town lead 1-0. Touched back to Pringle by Foley. Pringle drills the ball in, this is the better one. All the big guns are still up there, Berra back to goal, gives it back to Brew who shoots fantastically well into the net. What a strike from Kevin Brew. It's his second goal of the season, Rahubka just did not see it. And in the 24th minute through a thunderbolt, Ipswich Town lead 1-0 at Bolton. Maitland-Niles knocks this ball into the Bolton box, up goes Berra and it's in! 
Ipswich Town lead 2-0. It's the Scotsman's first goal of the season. And you've got to say, as one or two Bolton fans already head towards the exit gates, this should be a third successive victory for Mick McCarthy's team. Daryl Murphy with a number nine on his back. Can he get his ninth goal of the season? So often Ipswich Town's hero last year. Fold, he comes, he's a hero once more. Ipswich Town lead Blackburn Rovers by one goal to nil. Henley, the ball forward, Berra wins it comfortably against Gomez. Henley then runs into Varney. Varney brings it away from Henley. Infield, he's got Sears. He cuts infield. He's still got the ball. He plays it to Murphy. Good play by Varney. Murphy, edge of the area. He shoots. It's 2-0 to Ipswich. Daryl Murphy's got both goals. And we can all relax. We can all slouch back into our seats. Hopefully, Ipswich Town are going to hang on to the victory, unlike a week ago at Bolton and win a huge three points at the start of this crucial week. Three and a half minutes to go of normal time. Town have some breathing space. They lead Blackburn 2-0. Cormac loses that to Skews. Now McGoldrick edged the area, wants to try and beat his man. Inside the box, he gives it to Feeney. The angle isn't too good. He still scores. A consolation goal for Ipswich Town. Nothing more. Feeney crosses into the middle. A good ball! Oh, it's a goal! And guess who's got it? It's the 16-year-old Andre Dazel, 25 minutes into his Ipswich Town debut. What a start from the youngster. It's now 1-1 at Hillsborough. There's tomorrow's headline. Here's McGoldrick coming forward. Little ball into the box to Sears, right of centre. Squares it across to the middle as a shot. And there's an equaliser. It's Jonas Knudsen's first goal in English football. And he's given Ipswich Town a share of the spoils into added on time at the end of this game. It's Town 1, Fulham 1. Feeney still on the far touchline after taking that corner kick. Wants to take on his fullback balled up and drill a low ball into Sears inside the area. He clips it into the middle. McGoldrick! 1 0 Ipswich! The number 10 looks to the skies and celebrates his first goal since August. Ten of a pressure relieving breakthrough in this final home game of the season. David McGoldrick makes an Ipswich down one, MK Dons nil. Town free kick, wide right. Brew to take it from over on the far side of the field. Live with accuracy into the box off to our left. Into the middle, it comes as a header and a goal. And once again, it's the super sub. Brett Pittman ends his drought. He's made the scoreline 2-1 to Ipswich Town with 22 minutes of the Portman Road season to go. Sears quickly throws it to Kenlock. Final minute of the 90. Kenlock crosses into the middle as a free header! And Luke Varney might just have got the winner for Ipswich Town. Off the bench he comes and celebrates his first ever Portman Road goal for Ipswich Town. And for the first time this season, they finally score three goals in a home game, heading into added on time at the end of this match. Town lead MK Dons, 3-2, well done Luke Varney. The away fans chanting David McGoldrick's name as he settles the ball down on the spot off to our left-hand side. Scored from the spot against Brighton at Portman Road in August. Back on the score sheet last week against MK Dons. Here comes the number 10, right-footed. He rolls the ball into the corner of the net. And Ipswich Town take a 1-0 lead at the iPro Stadium. Derby nil, Ipswich Town 1. David McGoldrick with his fifth goal of the season.